Now, amidst the intermittent firing on the Indian outpost, Pakistan is reportedly also planning to step up its attack near the border. And uh, we are hearing, uh, in fact, sources are telling your channel that terrorists are being provided specific training to plant IDs near the border area to inflict maximum damage on the Indian patrolling teams and also to enable larger groups to infiltrate into the Indian territory. You see, to cross the fence, they have got all sort of training. Um, planting an ID or to destroy a fence by any mode, they will they will get this training from across the border, and they have been getting it. They have been destroying the LOC fence at uh, various points, or they have been trying to exploit the breaches uh, in the on the fence. Uh, and they have remained successful also. But there has been a counter strategy also, as on date there is a proper deployment on LOC, uh, there is a two, three tier uh, de deployment, uh, both technical as well as um, uh, human surveillance is there on LOC. And uh, they have not been successful in the recent past, but you, you never know, we, there is no scope for complacency. We cannot lower our guard. In Kulgam, there is a big blow to LET. Uh, headed by Mudassar Sheikh. Now, in the recently on 28th of December, uh, in Changam, that is in Pulwama district, also another uh, leader of LET, uh, Imtia Steli, was killed by army and police in the joint operation, along with is one of the one famous aide from uh, district of Shupia. So, therefore, you see, within a span of about two to three months, we have knocked down uh, five cadres of LET who are very, very important people. Mm -hmm. And therefore, the coordination to be done by the LET in South Kashmir is absolutely gone back to zero for them. Mm -hmm. And therefore, they have to now change their strategy in a sense they cannot afford to carry out any actions, uh, uh, meaningful actions.